Hi everyone, it's Plastic EP here, and it gives me a great pleasure to introduce Joey Mullen. Hey, yes I got what I deserve. Kept you waiting there too long, my love. All that time without a word. Did you really think that I'd forget and regret special love have for you? My baby blue. <laughs> ah! And I'm sitting on my bed And I wonder if my face turned red All that time without a word Did you really think that I'd forget and regret the special love I have for you, my baby blue. I love it, Joey. That <laughs> made my year. I loved it. Seriously, from my heart. I love it, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I want to ask you. You've just recorded a brand new album now with Mark Hudson. He helped write and produce the album. Everybody yeah. in the world is looking forward to that album, which is fantastic. Be true to yourself. And let me tell you, Joey, be true to yourself. You got to be. You got to be. <laughs> and it's 10 songs, and they've yeah. released already – Rainy Day Man. Can you play a little bit of Rainy Day Man if that's all right with you? Yeah, yeah. Rainy Day Man. That's all I ever see would be with you. Never call me when the skies are blue. Only when it rains. Rainy Day Man. You keep around. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Right. That's as I can. A rainy day, man. Rainy day, man. And never call me when the skies are blue. song that that one's gonna go around the world that's fantastic joey seriously it's, it's being well received down there you know we've just put it out it's been pretty well received really happy about it trying not to get excited really you know? well you know what you're making the world happy and we need to be happy so i'm we, just saying on this yeah. interview you're making everybody happy what was it like when you got signed to apple records can you tell me about that when you first met the beatles uh, it was really exciting. Uh, I'm a Liverpool fellow anyway, and uh, 
boy to meet the Beatles, the biggest band in the world, and start doing stuff with them, even playing on some of the records. And uh, it was just incredible. You can imagine I was just a young lad then, like a uh, fantastic place, you know. And then you also played on All Things Must Pass, didn't you? Yeah, played. we played acoustics on uh, for George on that, yeah. yeah that's was, big. That's, yeah, that's was, fantastic. It was huge, yeah. Uh, you know, it's all the money goes to the kids, of course, and yeah, it's, it's done a lot of good for that, you know, the UNICEF Foundation and all that. Uh, it was great, man. I got to meet, you know, Eric Clapton was on the record, Ringo, Billy Preston, Klaus Vollmann. Uh, yeah. It was knockout. It was just great. Yeah. Do you remember what? Do you remember what song you played on there, Joey, on that album? Yeah, we played, uh, well, we played on a lot of it. We played on Wah Wah, we played uh, Beware of Darkness, played Isn't It a Pity. Um, we played on most of it, really, even even on the jam sessions, you know, uh, or the jams that happened during our sessions. We were just doing the rhythm beds um, for the different tracks, you know, with. Uh, watch out now. Take care, beware of you shovelers. Slide down on the sidewalk. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's been I a long it. time. It's been a Doesn't long matter. time. Can I ask you, Joey, what's your favourite Beatles song? What's the Beatles song that you love? Which one do you oh, really love? Man, there's, there's loads of them. People ask me that all the time, but... Um, I don't really have a regular answer. Could be anything. It could be, you know, uh, can't buy me love. Oh, love. I eat diamonds with my friends. We say we'll be all right. Get you anything, my friends. We say we'll be all right. Cause I don't care to. Could be anything really, they made so many great songs. Uh, but you know, everybody, I've got everybody on the line here. I've got the text, I've got Chachi, I've got oh. Eva. Wow. Stephen's band, Sayok. I got Debbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. They're all saying hello to you. They're loving it. Hello, hello. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now listen, yeah, from Bad Thing, I'm just saying, how many yeah. great songs did you do? I mean, it's just like unbelievable. Those songs, those yeah, songs were just fantastic. The, the, everybody yeah. loves Bad Finger. You know what's amazing to me is how they're, they're still really popular around the world. Uh, the tunes are still get you know played on the radio. We we do we do much shows. People love them. Uh, you know it's good, man. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, but I got to tell you, Joey, those songs they're just timeless. They're classics. You know, it's that sound. You capture that sound. You got your own sound. Badfinger had their own sound. Yeah, That's we what the amazing thing is. We worked hard on them, you know, where uh, Pete came up with those song ideas, which were brilliant, and we'd go in the studio and just do our best, kind of work them up between us, a uh, few guitar licks, some harmony, and record the song, uh, and we'd always try and do our best in there, like, uh, and, you know, look what happens, you know, it's bloody amazing, really. I know, but listen, I can't help it, because I love you guys so much. Now, I'm just asking... Can we play no matter what? I just love well, it. I'm, I'm no not... matter what. <laughs> well, well, parts of my body might explode, but I can, I can do it. I'm going to try. It's all right. <laughs> Maybe I should change the keys. <laughs> right. No matter what you are. Boy, well, talk about drunk. Yeah. Have a little way. I'm sitting there with you. I'm sitting there with you. 
I'm not ready for the concert, and I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, it's great. I'll tell you what, it's great. Now, listen, how long did it take to record the new album, the 10 songs? Uh, we, it took a total of about six weeks, uh, but it was spaced over two years. Um, we we, uh, we did all the backtracks, and then we ran out of money. So we had a, uh, a Kickstarter fundraiser, and... Uh, we asked the fans to chip in, and they did, boy. They chipped in big time, and thank you so much. Gave us the dough to be able to uh, finish up the record and also a little bit extra so we could add some strings to a couple of songs. We used all real instruments, incidentally, and real players. Uh, we did all the tracks are all total tracks. There's no cut and paste in there. Um, so it was just a great experience. It was lovely. Mark's a, an unbelievable producer, you know. Um, just focus, 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 you know. Uh, got the musicians to play the parts that we needed. Um, he let them make their own parts up, really, but Mark would go and modify them a little bit to fit exactly what he wanted. And uh, it was just a great treat for me. Uh, I've been doing, you know, normal, regular my own production records you know doing them in the basement like digitally but uh this was the first real album i've done in a long time you know so it was great and what happens mickey dolans did backup vocal and so did julian lennon that's right yeah yeah jason chef too from chicago you know jason yeah um, yeah they came down they were nice enough uh, uh, uh jason uh, jason came to la Mickey Dolans came to the studio in LA when I was doing the vocals, yeah. Did some harmonies and some oohs and ahs and everything. What a great guy, man. <laughs> Funny. Have you got a story and, with Mickey? Uh, and Julian, Have you got a story you can tell me? Uh, no, no, not really. I've only done a few shows with him. Did about 30 shows with him. And I, I know him, he's a friend, but he's not like, a, you know, an old friend of mine. He was always a much too big of a star for me to get friends with. The... Um, and then what's his name? Julian came as well, uh, sang with us in New York. He also gave us the photographs for the cover. You know, he's a great photographer. And so it was really a great experience, you know, just, just knock up. And these guys come in and uh, they just do it. They're like, they're like that Sayat guy who's watching now. Uh, just fantastic uh, players come in, learn the song. And they, they really put themselves into the song with you, you know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, that was great. Steve Holly played drums for us. Exactly. Uh, he was great. Oh, man, he's like cement. You know what I mean? He, he cements <laughs> the whole thing together. He was great, man. Just a, It was just a fabulous experience. I'd love to do it again, you know. I'm sure you'll do another album, but let me tell you now, because i got big hellos for you. i got oh, David yeah. Salador. David oh, yeah. Salador from New York. He gives yeah. you a big hello. And he yeah. said, Mickey gives you a big hello. He's recording a new album. Yeah. Also, Liberty yeah. DeVito gives you yeah. a big hello. Ah. Everybody gives you a hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> but I love that Liberty De Valance, man. He's a hell of a drummer. A hell even, of a drummer. Even Eva and Gary, Sayok, they say hello to you too. That's who I was just talking about, Gary. Yeah, He's an unbelievable bass player and a great singer. Great harmony singer, just a great singer. Knockout. You know, what is it? I'm just saying, you've got to understand something, Joey. When you wake up, you've got to understand that the world loves you and the world loves your songs. It's true. It's fantastic. I listen to it. I'm in Australia and I listen to Bad Finger every day in my car. Wow. 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 Well, God bless you, man. Thank you very much. No, Thank seriously. You. And I love uh, the fact you come from Liverpool too. You used to be with the Merseys, was it, in the early days? Sure, sure, yeah. With your what, what's it? With your long hair and your eyes are blue. The only thing I ever got from you, my son. You know, it was a big thrill. We did that record with the Merseys. It was a big hit. And then uh, Mag what, what, Magical Mystery Tour came out. And at the, yeah, end, at the end of the record, there's um, John Lennon on the end of it singing, with your long blonde hair and your eyes are blue. <laughs> Everybody loved it, yeah? It was great.
There's a bit wrong. I played me, uh, I've got me Firebird guitar that I bought from Billy from the Mersey Beats. Uh, Billy Kinsley, the bass player, mm -hmm. and I've still got it now. I played it on No Matter What and a couple of the other bad thing of records, yeah? Unbelievable what you played on. I mean, look, the, the sound that came out of those records at that time, I'm just saying, it's like unbelievable. Yeah, they were great, man. You know, Mal Evans produced No Matter What and uh, Jeff yeah. Emmerich did all the engineering for us. We did them in Abbey Road. Uh, which the Beatles gave us kind of carte blanche, it was great. Can I ask uh, you, come and get it? Paul just came and gave you, come and get it. Do you remember what happened? No, no, I wasn't there for that. Um, uh, they, they, they'd recorded come and get it before I came. Uh, but the, the story goes, um, the bass player said something in an article about it, uh, about not doing much good working with the Beatles. And uh, the next day there was a knock on the door and there was Paul with the tape of Come and Get It in his hand, a cassette. He just made a demo and he gave it to them and told them to learn that song just like this, just like I did it on this. And I'll come and produce it for you and it'll be your first hit record. And he was true as his word. He came back the next week, took them in the studio, recorded the song with them. There are more stories to it than this. Like he lined them all up and had each one of them sing the song. And he picked Tommy to sing again, you know, things like that. And anyway, it did come out, and it was our first big hit, worldwide hit, you know. Knock up. What's your, what's your favourite Bad Finger song? Oh, man. Wow, what are you going to say about that? I think Baby Blue was my favourite single that we did. Um, you know, I aired it in, uh, in that Martin Scorsese film, The Departed. Yep. He used Baby Blue in there, and there's a scene in the apartment where they're having a fight, these two guys. And as it as they're fighting, the, the drum roll comes in, and there's Baby Blue playing. And it really reminded me that it was a little rock song written for the beat group, you know? And it's great for a four-piece band. Any four-piece band in the world can do Baby Blue. Yeah. Can I ask Not you, that. growing up, Joey, was who was an influence on you apart from the Beatles? Was anyone else... You really liked? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There were loads. There were people. I was especially got me turned on, and uh, then I started to learn the Chuck Berry stuff and Buddy Holly, you know, all of that. Carl Perkins, you know, loads of them. Really, uh, little Richard, uh, even you know, going all the way back. Really, Bill Ailey uh, made some incredible records, you know. But Chuck was, I think, my favourite. I was in a band called the Masterminds in Liverpool. We used to do 45 minute sets, just Chuck Berry, <laughs> just Chuck Berry songs. And then I met Chuck Berry. Uh, I went to a party one night, it was the American Music Awards. And, uh, you know, Dick Clark was a big Bad Finger fan. Yeah. And as, as I walked in the party, I heard this voice shouting me, Joey, Joey. I look around, there's Dick Clark, and he's standing with Chuck Berry. And he calls me over, like, come here, come here. And so he knows I love Chuck. He knows that, you know. So I walk over and he, he nudges Chuck Berry. And he says, hey, Chuck, you know Joey Mullen, don't you? That's what he said to Chuck Berry. You know Joey Mullen, don't you? Bad thing, you know. I said, God, Chuck Berry rubbed his elbow on me, man, which I talk because that's like getting a knighthood, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Unbelievable. Were, what is your favourite Chuck Berry song? You can play me something from Chuck oh, Berry. from man. the old they're all great, aren't they? You know what I mean? The See you. 
You know what, Charles Rosen, eh, says hello to you, Charles. He goes, I've known you for 35 years and he's one of the nicest guys in show business. Everything, Everybody has to buy Joey's new album, right? Yeah. Everybody has to buy Be True to Yourself. All over the world, you make sure you buy it. I think uh, it's coming out on the 16th, isn't it, of October? Yeah, October 16th, yeah. we got a couple That's of right. We, got we want everybody to buy it, Joey. Well, I want everybody to buy it too. <laughs> Thanks very much. Please. Now, can I ask you? It's very hard. You know, the Beatles used to play a song called, a Buddy Holly song called Mailman, Bring Me No Blues. Mailman? Bring Me Bring no, me blues. no blues. blues. Do you remember that one? No. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. That's what Buddy Holly song do you like? I like a load of them. Uh, Crime Waiting Open, It's So Easy. Uh, maybe baby. I can play uh I can play a bunch of them. <laughs> it's so want? easy, can you play it so easy? It's so easy to fall in love. It's so easy to fall in love. People tell me love the fools. So here I go, making all of the rules. It's so easy. Oh, 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 so tough and easy. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your concern my heart. It's so easy to fall in love. It's so easy to fall in Man, you bring them back. You bring them back, rock and roll. You bring them back, rock and roll. I don't know what to say. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I love rock and roll. I wish yeah, I was isn't this fun? Isn't it fun that the world can watch you now? Yeah, and they're going to be watching this forever. This I, don't know if they're, I don't know if they're having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there one uh, more, one more rock song you can play us before we say goodbye? Uh, what do you want me to play, man? Do you like Little Richard? Oh, I can't do Little Richard songs. They're too high, man. <laughs> I, I couldn't even do them when I was 14. They were too high, man. You know? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a rock and roll song that I can play. Anybody you like. Uh, man. Nah, not really. <laughs> Know this? Wine is sweet, gin is bitter. Think all you can, but you won't forget her. Kiss one girl, kiss another. Kiss all you can, but you won't recover. Yeah, that's the price of love. Price of love. The debt you pay in tears and pain. Price of love. Price of love. It costs you more than your own pain. I said, Emily wrote this song, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Brian Ferry had the big hit, Brian Ferry. Oh, he did? Yeah. Brian. No, I didn't know that. Didn't yeah, know that. there's a version of Price of Love. Look it up, Brian Ferry. That was All the right. biggest version. Was he? Yeah. Wow. Can't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> didn't you know that, Joey? No, I didn't know that, Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Brian Ferry did it. Price of yeah. Love, it was a huge hit. It went to number one. Good, good, good. Model Listen, Brian. Man, I'm going to tell you something, Joey. What? What? I love you, man. The world loves you. And you know what? You made so many people happy today. Oh, I mean that sincerely. And people here in Australia are in lockdown and curfew, and you made everybody happy just by singing those songs. And you know what? Oh. All the best to your new album. Thank and you, everybody man. everybody go out and buy it. Be true to yourself. Released on the 16th 
of October, 10 songs. Joe Mullen sings them. Mark Hudson produced it and wrote some. And the best musicians played on it. Steve Holly, Mickey Dolans did backup. Yeah. Ju Julian Lennon did backup. And Julian Lennon did the cover of the uh, album, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. Is Not that fantastic or not? It's a bloody dream, isn't it, really? It's amazing. Yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream come true for you, Joey. And you yeah. know what? It's what? not the first or last album you would be recording. I'll tell you that now. Well, that's fantastic. Can you can you guarantee me that? <laughs> no. All you have to do is talk to Mark Hudson again. Let's make this one a hit for you. Let's yeah, make this let's a hit it. album. Yeah. And let me tell you, if you go to iTunes, Rainy Day Man is released. That's a track you can start hearing now. It's a great song. And thank you for playing it on the show. You're welcome, man. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. I'd like to come back to Australia soon. Be nice. Please do. And if you do, we'll catch up in Melbourne. Excellent, man. Excellent. Just want to tell you, Joey Mullen, you're a rock and roll legend. And you live forever. And we love you. All right? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, ta -ra, Mr. Plastic. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. Just stay there for one second, Joey. Just stay there. Okay.